Hey guys, it's Sabrina. So today I'm going to be doing a life update video because it's been a while since I've done one of these and I just wanted to ask you guys personally on YouTube what you guys wanted to see. I've only been communicating something through Twitter lately and um, I just wanted to see what you guys are interested in seeing on YouTube. So if you have any requests, make sure you comment them in the comments below. But a lot has changed since I've last uploaded a video. It's crazy how much has changed in a week. But um, I just wanted to give you guys an update on kind of like where my life is headed and what's going on. So, um, as most of you guys know, if you've been following me on Twitter and maybe Instagram, um, my boyfriend and I did break up and it was probably one of the hardest things I am going through right now because I um, loved him and it was really difficult for me to accept it, I guess. And it was my first real heartbreak, so it was really, really rough on me. But a lot of you guys have been inspiring me to just move on and move forward and realize that this is for the best and whatever God has planned out for me, He has planned out for me for a reason. I'm going to believe in it and continue to follow the path He puts me on even if it gets really hard sometimes and rough and sometimes I don't understand it and I question it but you know everything happens for a reason so I know that this, it's hard right now to see the reason, but I know I'll see it one day. It'll be okay, <laughs> even if it's not right now. And I just wanted to let you guys know that I really, really appreciate your guys' like, comments and support and love, and it just means so much to me, um, knowing that I have such an amazing support system out there. So, um, I really love like hearing about your guys' stories, and it's one of my favorite things to read, so I'm definitely interested in hearing about your hard breakup stories. If you guys want to comment them in the comments below, I feel like that would be really interesting to hear about, and maybe, you know, <laughs> let me know like what you guys did in order to feel better, and like any advice that you have, <laughs> it's really good. So, um, thank you, I guess, for being there for me. And... Another thing that um, I've been doing is focusing a lot on med school and I feel like um, that's a one good thing that I got um, from I guess not being in a relationship. I was having a lot of hard time balancing school and being in a relationship and it was really difficult and I couldn't really find a balance um, and now that I don't have to worry about that I can actually just focus on med school and focus on getting into school and studying for my MCAT because I was getting distracted so I am really thankful about that. I feel like um, that might be one of the reasons God like, you know, did this. He wanted me to focus on med school and get into med school. So I've been finally focusing a lot on med school. I'm getting on top of it and starting to really study for the MCAT. I've been um, almost studying every single day for it and I've gotten through three books. I'm on my fourth book right now and then I have two more books and then um, I've decided that during winter break I'm going to take the entire month to hardcore study for the MCAT. We actually had a panel of med students come to our pre-medical fraternity and they talked to us about what they did to study for the MCAT and a lot of them said that they buckled down and studied for a month straight for eight hours every single day. And I think that's what I'm going to be doing during winter breaks so because you're not going to see a lot of me and I'm probably going to be dead afterwards but it's going to be worth it just to get a really good score on my MCAT the first time and make sure that I just do well, have that out of the way and then I can focus on my application and straightening my application where I need to do better. Another thing that's been really amazing in my life right now is the doctor that I've been shadowing and she's actually a family doctor who works on campus and I am so lucky to have met her because she really wants to help me and she really wants me to succeed and get into med school, which is amazing. Um, I had a really great chat with her yesterday and I sat down with her and she like gave me so much advice on what I need to do to get into med school. And she's going to just help me um, talk to like the admissions coordinator. She wants to help me like talk to one of like the coordinators who help out actual med students on how they should study. And she's going to tell me how I should study and prepare for my MCAT better. And then she also has like different opportunities for me to like work with um, Make-A-Wish and stuff like that. It's super cool. And I've been working on an obesity project with her on the side too and shadowing her which has been really awesome and it's just been really fulfilling. Like I am really excited for um, the path and the way my life is going right now because I feel like I'm just getting closer to my dream and I can just like see it happening. Because um, it's happening. <laughs> this year is a year that it's going to happen so it's super exciting. And um... Uh, it just, she's amazing and I just love her and I'm just so thankful for her. Um, she just inspired me to like continue and to push on and to like keep going because she did it and I know that I can too if I just keep working hard and um, I just, yeah, just keep going towards it. 
So I'm starting to take things more one day at a time instead of like, I don't know, I always like freak out and try to like plan out my entire life when I cannot plan out my entire life because I don't know where my entire life is going. So I'm taking things one day at a time and just trying to figure out like what I need to do, what I have to do, and um, it's been really helping. It's been like calming my stress. And this week was super nice, so um, I mean it was a hard week <laughs> because of what happened, um, but it was super nice because I didn't have any exams, so I just kind of relaxed and like just did my homework and focused a lot on the MCAT and stuff like that. And, I don't know, I've just been getting really excited about my future. You guys have been asking me how I stay positive, and I am definitely down on myself a lot of the time, and I don't believe in myself, and I struggle with, um, I guess, perfectionism, because I always want to get such good grades, and like I get down on myself if I don't. And it's hard when I do that to myself, because I just imagine that I can't do anything, and that's not true. Like, I know I can do stuff, and I know, like, I guess I know I'm confident in my skills and I know what I can do but sometimes I just get so down on myself so to let you guys know what's gonna happen there's gonna be times in life when you are so confident in yourself so confident in what you want to do and there's gonna be other times when you just don't you don't know what you want to do and you're not confident and you just don't know where life is going and that's okay but Having people there it's really helped me having people there who believe in me who support me and who've always seen like the good in me and have always brought out that helps me so much and sometimes you take that for granted so do not take your friends who have been there for you and your family for granted because they are always going to be there for you they're not going anywhere and I hope you guys know that so it really helps to have a good support system because when you hit down on yourself there's no one else that can bring you up but yourself and um, having others to like remind you of how great you are helps you realize that yeah you're right you're right. I am. Like, this is, you're right. So, I don't know, there's some advice about that. So, that's mostly what I've been doing. Um, I'm really excited because next weekend my parents are coming up and um, we're actually taking my dad down to Auburn, California for the weekend for a birthday present. It's a late birthday present. His birthday was like October 3rd. And then I'm super excited to just see them and to um, spend time with them and to just go on a vacation with them. It's been so hard since they don't live. Um, in the same place as us, we rarely see them, and I miss them so much all the time. Like I get so excited when I get to see them. I'm gonna probably start experiments finally in my research lab, which is exciting. Um, I've actually been there for almost a year and a half now, so it's been a while, and I can't wait to actually start and get involved more in the research lab. I've been doing a lot more stuff with that. Um, school's been keeping me busy. It's not as crazy as it was last semester, but it's definitely still, there's still a lot of studying, there's still a lot of homework, and I'm always super busy, um, no shock there, so <laughs> I've been busy with that, and um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it, I just wanted to give you guys a life update, because I feel like you guys don't know what's going on, and I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on, and I'm interested in hearing how you guys' life is going, what's going on in your life, so comment in the comments below, and let me no, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, sorry, I seem a little down. I will be better and happier soon. Um, it's just been, you know, a rough week, and I'll be okay eventually. I know I will. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys.